Hey, how's it going? I'm Nick, and this is my 1969 Honda CT90. It's currently powered by a fuel-injected Piranha 140 engine, and I'm going to make a few more videos about this project, so be sure to hit the subscribe button so you don't miss them. In this video, I wanted to share this Rotopax mount that I designed and make for the Honda CT90 and CT110. It fits in the same location as the original auxiliary tank that came on these bikes, and really all it is is a thick aluminum plate that mounts in two locations. One is the rack bracket right there, and also this hole in the fender. As I just mentioned, the mount is made out of sturdy aluminum, so it's very strong and very lightweight, and the Rotopax can is quite a bit narrower than the rear rack on the CT90 and CT110. In fact, it's only a little bit wider than the rear shock absorber, so you're not adding any width to this bike. One thing to keep in mind is that the rear mounting point is the stock location for the CT90 indicator mount. Uh, so if you are using this mount, you're going to have to come up with some other solution for mounting the turn signals on your CT90. Another thing to keep in mind with the turn signals is that on some CT110s, the uh, indicator actually mounts to the license plate bracket right here, and you might have some interference there as well. My CT90 has these long travel rear shock absorbers from a different bike, which is why the back end is about two inches taller than stock, but even still you can see there's still plenty of clearance between the suspension and the one gallon container and between the sprocket and the container. Likewise, if you have stock suspension, there's still plenty of clearance between the suspension and the can. This is a one gallon Rotopax container, which means it's larger in capacity than the original by quite a bit actually. It's also pretty cost effective too, even though it's not the cheapest thing in the world. The originals are getting harder and harder to find in good condition, and it's hard to find one on eBay without having to pay an arm and a leg. These are high quality, and they're made in USA, and they're significantly sturdier than the cheap knockoff roto packs that you can also buy. This is what the kit looks like before you install it on the bike. You got your aluminum plate with the foam padding here, and you also have the aluminum and stainless steel hardware. The two short screws are for attaching the aluminum roto packs mount to the aluminum plate. And uh, the, the Rotopack mount is sold separately, as, as is the gas tank. You can buy them both on my website, though. At this time, the aluminum Rotopax mount is $50, and the Rotopax one-gallon can is $75. Here you can see where that aluminum spacer is placed between the plate and the fender to keep it straight. The stack up for the front mounting screw is you get your long screw going through the aluminum plate, then it goes through the rack bracket, the fender, and then you get a stainless steel washer and a stainless steel lock nut. For the rear screw, you have the same length screw that goes through the aluminum plate, then it goes through that aluminum spacer that I showed you earlier, then through the fender, and then you get your stainless steel washer and stainless steel lock nut. And that's really all there is to it. This design is pretty simple in that you just Attach it like that, it's, it's pretty sturdy. The foam takes up a lot of the slack there, so you're not actually compressing the container. It's taken up with the foam, so it's nice and easy to latch this. I've seen a few aftermarket uh, mounts that, that uh, are really difficult to latch because there's no, there's no give in the design at all. All the components of these are made in the United States, and I do the final assembly and finishing myself. Um, these are available on my website at www.moto-obscura.com. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you next time.